Hey yo, what is good? You see me in the show, boy. Craig, man, Stevie Brown, I'm back with another banger. Now listen, bro, y'all read the title right. This is my first multiverse video, and I'm about to be giving y'all the top five characters to be using in multiverses. Now look, using characters in this game is pretty controversial right now, you know what I'm saying? Because everyone has their own type of main. Everyone has their own type of main character. Everyone plays differently. But in my personal experience, you know what I'm saying? I just got the game well, a couple, like a, a day or two ago, and I played with every single character. Now, you know what I'm saying? My characters, not all of them are high levels, you know what I mean? Some of them that are high levels may be not on this list for the top five characters in the game. I have a distinct choice for characters, but let me just explain something right now. I will be dropping a top 10 characters video, which the other six characters are not bad characters. I just don't recommend people use them. And I'll be dropping a rankings list video so I can bring all of the characters in, you know what I'm saying, in the way I think they play. From this standpoint right now, I just want to say this one thing. I'm going to be looking at this from a free-for-all and a 1v1 scenario type of, you know what I'm saying, characters, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be looking at that from this way, you know what I'm saying, I'm looking at it from a 1v1 and free-for-all standpoint. Now, 2v2, some other characters is good, but I'm not going to be going over, like, 2v2 i'm saying co-op mode and everything like that another thing i want to say is bugs bunny and tom and jerry they would be on the list for top five characters but for new players and people that's just now get into the game these characters are a lot harder to you know what i'm saying work with now look i think bugs bunny and tom and jerry are top tier characters easily top five but for people that's trying to get into the game they want to you know what i'm saying just hop on the game get their first win these two characters right here aren't really, you know what I'm saying, that good for those type for new new type of players. I'm not gonna lie. So they're not on the list. I know if that makes you mad, bro, I, I, my fault. But look, coming in at number five, I have Arya. Now look, Arya is a really solid character. Her skill set, her moves, everything about her is nice. She moves fast. Her sword is nice and sleek. You can combo out with her. She's an assassin. Everything about her character is good. Now, the only real problem that I probably could have with her is, is that she's really only good in 1v1 and free for all. In co-op modes, she can easily be countered by just about almost every character in the game. She can easily be countered until people really learn how to use Arya, bro. Right now, I'm going to have her at the number five spot, and that's just above Shaggy. Shaggy is probably the best character for anyone that is just hopping on multiverse to use. He's an all-around demon, uh, like 100%. Shaggy is an all-around demon. You know what I'm saying? Ultra Instinct Shaggy, whatever y'all want to call him. He's goaded. The guy is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I get, I get wins with him like it's nothing. Like, he's my highest level character. I think he's probably... The best character for all new players to use. Now, y'all probably saying, well, why? why? Why you got him at the four if he's literally your best character? <sighs> there's characters that can beat him. It, it, it's, it's sad to say, but there is characters that can beat him. You know what I'm saying? His moves and stuff, it can get outplayed after a while. And plus, since he's the probably, since he's probably the most used character in this game, people are going to realize and learn his moves and learn his skill set a lot faster. We're only like day two, day one. And people already are starting to learn everything. So yeah, Shaggy is at the four. Now, number three is pretty controversial, but I had to give it to Finn. It was a tie between the second place and the third place, but Finn, he has to go at number three. The guy is just too, he's, he's just too overpowered. In Brawlhalla, he's overpowered. In his show, he's overpowered. And now in multiverses, he's overpowered. His skill set is just too crazy. Just like Arya, just like Arya, you know what I'm saying? Combos with Finn is super clean. You know what I'm saying? Just like just like Harley Quinn, but you know what I'm saying? I didn't feel like putting Harley Quinn on this list because for you know what I'm saying, beginner players, it's probably gonna be a little bit difficult. So Harley Quinn's not on the list. But yeah, Finn, his moves, his skill set, everything about him is too clean. This is probably going to be the combo up character or the character that's people gonna main in 1v1s and free for alls. I'm telling y'all, Finn is goaded try him out test him out for yourselves he is a fire character that's why he's on the top five list at number three now look the number two spot i know a lot of people might hate on this but it's going to steven universe i know i know y'all probably like bro what are you talking about steven's not that good 
Listen, listen, hear me out. I know he's a support character, but when you play him in the 1v1 or free for all, it's kind of overpowered, especially in the 1v1. Let's just say this. He's the only character in the game that can heal. I'm pretty sure. If I'm if I'm wrong, my bad. I think I think Rain Dog can, but we're not gonna get into Rain Dog. Steven is probably the only character in the game that can heal. On top of that, he's the only character in the game that can actually guard, not dodge, guard. Like put up a whole shield around him. Plus, his skill set is kind of too overpowered. Like it actually needs to be patched. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Plus, he can spawn in a helpful, you know what I'm saying, secondary person. Not like Tom and Jerry, how they can just, you know what I'm saying, how Jerry could just come in and, you know what I'm saying, he can shoot the joint. No. Steven actually has a whole clone fight with him. And it kind of gets annoying for any, you know what I'm saying, new players, better players, anything. It can get annoying because you have to go and kill that clone. And sometimes it is annoying because if the Steven is pushing you hard and not playing soft, it can get really annoying. That's why I have Steven at my number two spot. Because his combos, everything, you can literally off map someone with one combo with Steven. It's that crazy. But yeah, he is at the number two spot. And the reason why I didn't give him the number one spot is because I feel like these three characters right here overpower. Not three, but mainly just two. The two characters I'm talking about is Superman and Iron Giant. Now listen, hear me out. I know, I know a lot of people saying, well, you're just going to give it, you're just going to give the biggest characters, you're just going to give, you, you, you give the most OP characters the number one spot. No, Superman's moveset is so clean. Like, you can off map people easy with this guy. You can destroy people. He's a literal tank, so he can take a whole bunch of hits, just like Wonder Woman, just like Iron Giant. He can take a whole bunch of hits and everything, bruh. Like, it, it's just crazy. His skill set is overpowered. I'm telling you, he's going to get a nerf. When people finally figure out how overpowered Superman actually is, he's going to get a nerf. And when people actually find out, the, you know what I'm saying, the dodge cancels and everything, bro, I found out it, but I'm not going to give it out yet. But yeah, when people find out how to dodge cancel and everything, cancel out of moves, bro, y'all going to see how overpowered Superman really is. And the reason why I didn't give it to Iron Giant is when you put him in a team-based game mode, or a free-for-all he's getting wiped and free-for-all yes he can take a lot of hits but the guy is a literal walking blood bag he's a body bag walking like he will take so many hits and he can't do anything about it because he's so big one dodge you keep clicking the dodge button what happens when two people come at you at once and you really can't do anything now i probably say well uh well uh, uh, two people come at me all the time well i'm really free-for-all but your player is a lot smaller, therefore you can get around it, you know what I'm saying, you don't have to stay in the same spot. Now playing in a 1v1 situation, he's kind of overpowered. Once y'all figure out his combos like I have, he is extremely OP in the 1v1. But the reason why I didn't give him the number one spot is because Superman is just an all around GOAT. You can run this with, you can run Superman with just about any character in the game. It doesn't matter, Steven, Velma, Tom and Jerry, Rain Dog, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter who you run Steven with, he's overpowered. Now, that is my top five character tier list. Arya, Shaggy, Finn, Steven, and Superman. That's my top five characters right now. My my opinion clearly will change over time, but you know what I'm saying that's my top five right now. But for me, that's that's just me. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. But look, before we get before we get out of here, let me just exp I, let me just explain something. Yes, Batman was going to be in the number one spot. Yes, he is that third character that I was talking about. Because Batman is kind of broken. His abilities can be broken, but as soon as people start to catch on to them, they won't be broken no more. As soon as people start to catch on to it, it's not going to be that, you know what I'm saying, broken. But right now, people are new into the game and they do not know his skill set. It's just like Brawlhalla. You hop on a character that's overpowered. When people figure out your skill set, you're kind of dookie now. So yeah, Batman is overpowered right now. But sooner or later, his skill set is going to be really known because of how many people main Batman. So he's not going to be that OP no more. And I know y'all probably like, bro, well, my favorite character is Jake. My favorite character is Wonder Woman. I even I even main uh velma and tom and jerry yes they're 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 fire characters they're all fire fire characters but for people that's hopping on the game 
just hopping on the game now, I recommend y'all use the five characters I need. I know that Batman, Wonder Woman, you know what I'm saying? All the rest of these characters is good. But the five I just named is so easy to play. I'm gonna drop videos on how to use all of the characters, but they're just so easy to use. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it, I, I'm, I just gotta be honest with y'all. So yeah, my, my top five is Arya, Shaggy, Finn, Steven, and Superman. My opinion will change over time, so make sure y'all turn on y'all post notifications and subscribe to the channel. And also like the video so more and more people can see this. But anyway, bruh, I'm out. Peace.